Alrighty, our next speaker is Nightwind, and the title is Accidentally Anorexic. Nightwind is an avid trail runner and nature junkie, otherwise spending her time sharing health and empowerment through the written and spoken word and yoga. Welcome, Nightwind. So my name is Nightwind, that's not a typo up there, and it does say accidentally anorexic. What is anorexia? Anorexia is actually when you don't feel like eating. So it's not this whole thing that you think, this word. So it's also heat could cause you not wanting to eat or even if you stuff yourself and you don't want to eat. That's anorexia. But anorexia nervosa is actually a mental disorder that causes you to feel like you're never thin enough. But because it's a mental disorder, it could be anyone. You can't tell just from the outside. I was a chubby child from the age of four, dealing with my weight all the way through college. And I remember in first grade being called double-chinned, even though I wasn't. And then in third grade, I had this dilemma of, I was eating ice cream, and then I won an ice cream. And I knew I shouldn't have that next one, so I decided that if I did 50 sit-ups, then I could eat the ice cream. This is in third grade, thinking about these kind of weight choices. But then my mom taught me the secret to losing weight, which is you can eat as much healthy food as you want, just no cookies, no sugar, no candy, no anything like that, and you'll lose weight. And this worked for a while. Now, I was a soccer player from sixth grade all the way into a year and a half into college. I was driving to college one day, and I was at a red light. And there were about 10 cars in front of me. The light turned green. I was then rear-ended by a woman driving 55 miles an hour. That was the end of my soccer career because it messed up my back way too bad for the impact that soccer causes. So instead of redshirting and rehabilitating, I joined the cross country team because I was impatient. <laughs> now I love cross country people. They are just awesome, but there is a secret war waging in the cross country and in our society between good and bad. Fat and skinny. And no matter what, the topic always seemed to trail off into this, and it made me feel bad. As I was on the cross-country team, I started to lose weight rapidly. I didn't feel good, and I asked the coach if anything was wrong because he was tracking our weight weekly. But he said, no, you'll gain it back in muscle. So what would cause society to feel that skinny was right? It's not like they make movies about skinny dead people where the main character is skinny and can't wait to be dead. I mean, who would go watch that? <laughs> so, but that's what anorexia is, killing yourself. And with things like Tic Tacs and Diet Coke and gum and popcorn, because they're just yummy. No, because they're low in calories and they make you feel full. And this is a main part of my diet for a long time. At the age of 20, I moved to Australia. The anorexia had taken over and I had become my own abuser. I put on this amazing facade that I was happy on the outside. I isolated myself from everything I had ever known and was completely destructive with all of the actions and the things that I was doing to my body. This was my darkest hour. I physically couldn't run. I could physically not really do anything. So when I moved back to America, I decided that I needed a new way to live. I would rather be fat and happy than skinny and miserable. And so I started following my passion of running. I knew that to get back to that, I needed to become healthy. I started going to a holistic nutritionist and reading Runner's World and just all these different things to come back and find a healthy way of living and running. In 2011, 
Beyond my wildest dreams, I came in first place for the Horse Tooth Rock Trail Run 7.2 female 20 to 29. And this was amazing because I did it with no scales and no negativity. So I urge you to rethink how you feel about skinny and fat and start thinking in terms of health and empowerment and passion. What are your passions? What ignites your fire? And to remind others of their passions in their darkest hour. Thank you.